Madam, you are just coming. Well done, no. After you made me wait for you. No vex now. Nah. It sure wasn't intentional, I swear. That's what you always say when you are late. I am serious. I was around Richard's area and I couldn't just pass by without saying hello. You visited Richard? Yes, I'm sorry. I should have called to tell you that we would be... It's alright. How is Richard, by the way? He's good. Um, uh, that guy, they renovate house every month. Money good though. You should know him by now. He does his things really well. He has a great taste. But babe, I haven't been insulted the way I was insulted today. You see, since my mama born me, small picking never insults me before. How do you mean? Is it not Richard Kitsis? She invited her friend over for a sleepover and Richard got to find out. I think he has warned her against sleepover before now. Richard was really scolding this girl and she was becoming rude. So I had to tell Richard to let her be. And this girl told me in front of her friend and Richard that I should stay out of it because it's not my business. What? Is she mad or something? I overlooked her now because she's my friend's sis and I don't want to create a bad impression. What sort of girl is that? Bad home training. Rich folks overlook their kids too much. A beautiful girl like that doesn't have manners. You can't just judge her parents. They might have taught her morals and she chose not to listen to them. I see. You are already siding with your future in-laws. In-laws indeed. It's just that I'm clearing you on the fact that her parent might not be the reason for her being like that. I just don't know about that girl. She's the worst. I just hope she marries a quiet man. So it's a quiet man that can condone bad attitude, Abby? Well, let's not judge her by justice. Maybe she had a bad day. Bad day, my foot. I beg, if you are ready, let's go eat. Richard wanted to kill me with wine. Then first you drink him. Look at her. Who then go put sugar for him mouth and he go say you know what? Diabetic patient. <laughs> mom, where is Rachel? Is that the greeting you are supposed to greet? Good evening, mom. Where is Rachel? Come down and tell me what happened. Why are you looking like this? Mom, you won't believe what this girl did today. This girl. Relax and talk to me. You won't be able to talk to me with this anger in your voice. Why would I be angry? Can you believe your daughter brought in her girlfriend into my house? When I want her, I don't want her bringing any of her friends to sleep over. A girl slept in this house. I doubt that. I'm not lying, mom. I confronted her and she told me to my face. Why would I allow her bring her friend? That besides, she didn't bring a man in here. And what made me really mad was that she was directly referring to my visitor and she insulted me in front of my friend. What? What's wrong with this girl? She has to go back to her house. She won't constitute innocence in my house. How dare Rachel talk back at me in my own house? Rachel! Rachel! Yes, mom. Why were you screaming my name like that? Where did you get this your attitude from? I don't understand, mom. What's going on? Your brother here is the one looking for you. I'm not looking for her. I want her out of my house as early as tomorrow. Bro, what do you mean you want me to leave your house? Richard, calm down my son. She's your only sister. You can't just send her packing over a little thing like that. Mom, what did they do? What you did few hours ago, how could you bring your friend to spend the night under this roof when your brother warned you against it? Mom, I didn't do it on purpose. My friend had nowhere to go, so I had no choice but to let her stay. And you didn't do well to tell your brother first? I didn't see the need. Besides, I didn't bring any man here. It's my brother's house and I should at least have a bit of freedom. Is something wrong with you? Don't you have enough freedom in this house? Why couldn't you admit to a simple instruction? I had the F1 tree to insult my guests. I didn't insult your guests. I only told her to not interrupt our conversation. I can see that I've let down myself. I tried to make you my friend but you are overstepping and you are already doing too much. Do I look like your mate? We grew up together and I protected you so much. Doesn't give you the right to disobey me and talk to my visitor as you wish. I want you out of this house and that's it. If you must come back, we will only visit and go. Brother, I'm sorry. Please talk to him. Don't bring me to your mess. Fix it yourself. Got both of my feet on solid ground. Don't wanna go back. Madam, you are here. Where have you been? I've been in this house for like an hour plus now. And where did you go to last night? Don't think you can just come into my house because you have my spec queue. My dear, I was feeling really bored and you told me you were going out with a friend. So I had to go visit Rachel. Which Rachel? That girl? Why don't you like her? Who would like that kind of pompous girl? Someone who feels too big because she's from a wealthy family. How do you even cope with how she brags and looks down on you? She doesn't look down on me. She's friendly. 
my foot and you're sticking around her because she's rich and she gives you small small money change yeah i don't understand you at all yeah she gives me money when i need but that doesn't mean i'm friends with her because of that i'm a big girl now big girl well done what did you two do at her place i went to visit her at her brother's house babe you need to see mansion whoa people get money oh. i won't lie to you at all she has a brother not just a brother a rich and handsome guy tall cute that guy is a complete thing even if he's not fine you will still hype him i beg chill i'm serious for rachel sha that guy is rude now today you know now today you know say rachel rude i know she's rude to everyone else but i don't know she was rude to her own elder brother how this girl talks to her elder brother anyhow as fierce as this guy looks she still managed to insult him and even insulted his girlfriend wow and he did nothing I guess he was surprised as we all was. Surprised? Do you think he saw my own brother started today? She must have been doing it before now. With the look on his face, I don't think she has been like that. Enough of their talk. Don't make her sound so important because she's not. You say fair. Did you cook? Which kind question be that? I beg not disturb me. Why were you so eager for us to meet? We met yesterday. Babe, I'm not just in a good mood at all. Everything is annoying me. And you decided to call me to come help you calm down? That's not it. I just need someone to talk to. Okay. Talk about what? What's with your mood? Are you angry at me or something? Me? Vex for you? I don't feel vexed for you. Look, I'm not just in a good mood. Why is everything so annoying these days? How do you mean? My brother wants me out of his house simply because I told him a piece of my mind yesterday. A piece of your mind? Babe, you humiliated your brother in front of his girlfriend and I. Which girlfriend? She's just his friend. I mistook her for that girl, Kate. And who is Kate? You won't understand. I just feel bad that my brother could actually do that to me. Why can't he do that to you when you did the same to him? Do you expect to be treated differently? What's the deal? It's not like I insulted him. I only told him I don't appreciate how he bosses me around. In his own house? Babe, how many times your brother don't come your house? Wait, are you siding with him right now because you like him? Pardon? I'm not siding in. I'm telling you that you were wrong to talk to your brother like that in the presence of other people. Even if we weren't there, it's still wrong to talk to him like that. You abused this ego. And I apologized but insisted that he still didn't want to see me in his house. He left this morning and I don't know what to do. Just kneel down and apologize when he's back. Or better still, come to school now. Your house is vacant. Ew, why would I kneel down? Is he good? I have a house of my own, but I don't want my brother to be mad at me at all. He's my everything. I beg you should have knew that before you were ranting yesterday. Do not help me right now, Joy. I just told you to apologize. Just kneel down and apologize when he's back. But I know pride won't let you. That's too much now. Then move out. You want yourself too much. Loma, Mama Tiara. Ah uh, ah, uh, is someone after you? What's going on? My dear, I don't know the dream I had last night. I really need your help in prayers. What dream? Tell me about it. Is it a dream that made you run all the way here like this? I take dreams very seriously, my friend. What is this dream about? In my dream, I saw my son struggling, hawking, and doing odd jobs. <laughs> My friend, what sort of dream is that? You and I know that they don't work in Canada. Exactly why I'm surprised. This dream looked so real. Your son for sure won't struggle. God forbid it. Amen, no. Oh. I just want your support in prayers. The enemy is a liar indeed. Just relax yourself. Our children will not suffer or die untimely. Don't you trust God? I do. I just got scared a little. See my son in such a situation. I understand. How are you feeling? My dear, I thank God. My petty business has been going well. Maybe I should think about joining that line of business because look at you, looking so beautiful and young. You should. Uh. <laughs> the business is really paying. I can see that, my friend. What can I offer you? The juice that Tara got for me from the city has finished. No, it's alright. I just came to talk to you. But at least I should offer you much. I'm fine, my friend.